Well, The Wizard of Oz, the movie is great for so many reasons, but one thing that really stood out to me was the motto, there's no place quite like home. Mm, there's no place like home. There's no, it's true, and folks born and raised in Omaha like to show their love of home with the annual Native Omaha Days. Uh, it's a festival, and here to tell us a little bit more about that event, Dave Kimball and Vicki Quates Ferris. Good to see you guys. Good Thanks morning. for coming. Good Thanks morning. for having So this us. event, it Welcome. only comes around every couple years. I, for some reason, I didn't realize it was every two years. Every two years. It's Native Omaha Days, and matter of fact, we've been planning for the last two years. <laughs> <laughs> it takes two years to plan for this thing. Well, right. tell us about it. What is it? I'm new to the area, so I'm not a native Omaha, but I'm still intrigued. Uh, and how did it get started? Uh, native Omaha got started in 1976, and it, it began uh, North Omaha community uh, with the packing industry being the main, being the main uh, employers. People began to move out. Yeah. And with the construction of the North Freeway, which took a lot of housing, mm -hmm. which put a strain on as far as jobs and housing. Mm -hmm. So people decided to relocate. The Omaha Planning Company, which was comprised of residents of the North Omaha community, was 15 people. And the two founders, Mary uh, Vera Johnson and Betty McDonald, uh, got together and said, we ought to have a celebration. They wanted to keep the unity and uh, uh, the working with the uh, churches and the civic leaders, want to keep that feeling all together. It was businesses and all that thing, and everybody was united. Everybody worked together. Mm -hmm. So they started the Omaha Planning Company, which later changed to the Native Omaha Club, and they decided to have a celebration, which was a homecoming every, every other year. Every other year, and I love this because, you know, everybody's you're from Omaha, you're proud of Omaha, but there's a lot of people that have left. Um, and I see on social media, uh, I, I can see people chatting back and forth. Are you coming back for Native Omaha Day? Are you coming back? And, and people actually do come home for this. Yeah. Right, there's thousands of people that really come back for Native Omaha Days. And when it first started, there were about four signature events that took place. I mean, you had the Gospel Fest, you had um, the dance, you had the parade, and then you had the picnic. But over the years, it's evolved, it's expanded, and so now you've got a lot of community partners that are part of this, and you've just got a lot of different activities that are going on. So, I mean, yes, you do have thousands of people that come back to visit their family, their friends, and just kind of reminisce about, you know, the good old days. Did I hear that Gabrielle Union comes back for this, or has come she back? Does. She every does. Every year, or every other, I should say? But every her year. family, which has their family reunion is one of the oldest African-American families in the state. Is mm -hmm. it the union? Is it yeah, that the last Yeah, a dozen of cousins. Uh, it's the Bryant Fisher. Bryant Fisher. Family, family mm -hmm. reunion. Wow. They're the largest family, African-American family in the state of Nebraska. Wow, mm -hmm. I did not know that. And, but, learning. but you mentioned a lot of the events surrounding this. What, what, and I saw there was a trolley, a shot of the trolley. There was some fun yeah. to be had on that trolley, I can tell. But talk about some of the activities that you have this year. The Gossip Fest, which will be uh, Wednesday, August the 2nd, it starts at um, seven o'clock at Salem Baptist Church is comprised of volunteer people singing gospels and uh, religious music, and it really is a kickoff for the club. Uh, we we'll also have the parade, which is on Saturday. It starts at ten o'clock. The parade is one of the the, the big features. That's of a big this. feature. Right. It starts at Thirtieth and Lake, and it goes all the way to. 30s and Sprague, this band is at 30 and Sprague, and it's a lot of people draw to that. Well, we hear you have some special offers going on as well, right? Can you tell right. us about those? Well, Styles of Evolution, I mean, they're located right off of 24th and Ohio Street, mm -hmm. so that's a men and women's apparel shop, and so they definitely have 20% off of your entire purchase, but we also have some new retail shops that are down off of 24th and Burdett in the Fairdale Village Marketplace, uh -huh. and so they're in what's called the shipping containers, but we have a number of the new retail businesses that are down there. The Fairdale Cafe is down there. You've got a grocery store now that's down there. So when people are coming back, two years ago, it was just dirt. I mean, it was just kind of the framework. So when they come now, they're going to actually see mm -hmm. the actual businesses and be able to kind of support the uh, businesses that are down there. So yes, the trolley is a huge event. Um, you know, when we first started, it was one trolley. And then all of a sudden, it was so famous and it was such a high demand that now we begin to have two trolleys. And it's a North Omaha historical um, 
you know, revitalization tour. Mm -hmm. And it really is for not only those who are coming from out of town to kind of see, you know, what's taken place, you know, since the last two years that they've been here, but also for local residents, because sometimes you don't know what's even in your backyard mm -hmm. until you actually go on the tour. So it's really a lot of fun, people reminiscing. Some great things happening in that neighbor neighborhood. Native Omaha Day is July 31st through August 7th. NativeOmahaClub.org. Well, thank you so Thanks much. for coming. Thank you. And have a great it. celebration. All this right, thank you. Well, we